Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on finding what fraction of a shape is shaded. Now there's not much calculation involved in this video but it's intended to give you an idea of what a fraction is. Now a fraction is intended to represent what proportion of something we have. So proportion is how much of something we have, not the kind of exact amount, but whether like we have half of something or all of something or just a, a small fraction of something. So a fraction is a proportion. Now, for example, let's just say you had a pizza and you divided it into three slices and you took two of those slices. We might not care how big the actual pizza is in terms of exactly how much pizza you took, but we care more about, about what fraction of the pizza, what proportion of the pizza we took. Did we take half the pizza? It doesn't matter if it's a small pizza or large pizza. We took half the pizza maybe. Um, but what fraction of the pizza did we take here? Now the way we write a fraction is we have a line, a horizontal line. We have a number at the top and a number at the bottom. Now the number at the top is called the numerator and I'll explain what I mean by that in a second and the number at the bottom is known as the denominator. Note the spelling. Now the denominator is how many pieces you've broken something up into. Now this is a pizza, we've split the pizza into three pieces. So the denominator would be three. So let me write that, how many parts in total. And the top number is how many of those parts, how many of those pieces we have. Now we can see that we took two of those slices of pizza, so the numerator would be two. And we would say this fraction in words as two thirds, so two thirds. So that means you've broken up the pizza into three equal pieces and you've taken two of those pizzas. So you have two thirds of the pizza. And visually, you can see that's a bit more than half the pizza. Half the pizza would be if I just split the pizza into two and took one of those pieces, we would say that's one half of the pizza. And we'd write that as one over two because we split the pizza up into two pieces and we've taken one of those pieces. And we can see visually, this is a bit more than half because that is less pizza than this. This is more pizza than that. So two thirds is more than a half. What about this next one, B? Well, we write a fraction with a horizontal line. Now let's work on the number at the bottom. That's how many parts we have in total, how many pieces we have in total. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the denominator is eight. And how many of those parts do we have? How many have we shaded? One, two, three, four, five. So we have five of those parts. So the fraction we would say as five eighths. And we can see again that this is slightly more than half because half would just be the top row. That would be the same fraction as this. But we've got just slightly more than half of it. And what about this last one, C? Well, the bottom number of our fraction first, the denominator. Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That's 15 parts in total. And how many of those parts do we have? Shaded, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven fifteenths of that diagram is shaded. 